Hello and welcome back to your own channel Indian Defense Analysis. As you all know that 2 plus 2 meeting between India and US has happened yesterday and BECA agreement was signed. To know more detail on it, please click on the information icon at the top of the video. In this 2 plus 2 meeting, US has proposed FA-18 Super Hornet fighters for Indian Navy. However, India is also eyeing to procure more Rafale jets. But which one is better option for India? Before we go ahead and compare these fighters in detail, let us first understand the requirement of Indian Navy. The Indian Navy needs to be prepared to meet formidable adversaries such as China in the Indian Ocean. The Chinese aircraft carriers consist of Su-33, J-15 and possibly indigenous J-20s and J-31s in the future. Indian Navy currently operates 45, only 45 MiG-29K fighters. 26 of them operates from aircraft carrier INS Vikramadit and the rest operates from shore. The INS Vikram, which is under development, would also need new multi-role carrier-borne fighters. To sum up, Indian Navy is looking for 57 multi-role carrier-borne fighters, also called in short MRCBF. In the hunt of the same, Indian Navy has two options to assess, F-18 Super Hornet and Rafale. Both of these fighters are very close competitors, combat proven and have air superiority jets. But which one of them will prove to be more efficient for Indian Navy against the imminent threat China? Please stay with us till the end and you will know the answer. We will be comparing the key features of these fighter aircrafts. To start with, let's talk about their manufacturers. F-A-18 is being manufactured by Boeing, a US based company and Rafale is manufactured by Dassault Aviation from France. Now second key point that we are discussing about is the radar. The F-A-18 Super Hornet is equipped with APG-79 AESA radar system and Rafale is equipped with AESA RBE-2 radar. The AESA stands for Active Electronically Scanned Array. These radars are much effective than traditional mechanical radars. In AESA, the antenna is in form of array of modules that allows beam to be steered electronically. As you can see in the video, the AESA radar is able to track and lock targets at wider angle compared to the mechanical radar. India has also built its own AESA radar known as Uttam radar. Now both these aircrafts have modern IRSTs as well. IST stands for Infrared Ray Search and Track System. This, this, this gets activated and helps when your radar is jammed. Neither aircraft is truly stealth. Both of them have reduced radar cross section. So technically, there is no clear winner for this round. They both seem to be almost equal in terms of capability of the radar system. Now let's talk about engine. Now both these fighters are twin engine based, which means they have two engines. F-A-18 uses F-414 engine manufactured by GE. Rafale uses M-88 engine manufactured by Safran. F-414 is after burning turbofan engine having a dry thrust of 57.8 kN and a weight thrust of 97.9 kN. Whereas M-88 engine is also an after burning turbofan engine having a dry thrust of 50 kN and a weight thrust of 75 kN. So F414 engine seems to be slightly better. However, let's wait and check their speed and rate of climb and max payload capacity. Talking of speed, FA-18 has a max speed of Mach 1.6 and Rafale has a max speed of Mach 1.8. So there's not much difference in speed, but Rafale is faster than FA-18. Let's talk about payload the capacity to carry the warheads. FA-18 has 11 hard points, whereas Rafale has 14 hard points. Clearly, Rafale outguns FA-18 when it comes to the firepower with additional 3 hard points. The 4 hard points in Rafale is for air-to-air -air missile, leaving 10 hard points for fuel, bombs and air-to-ground missiles. Rafale can uh, carry the nuclear warhead as well. The total payload capacity of Rafale is 20,900 pounds, whereas that of F-A-18 is 17,750 pounds. So clearly, Rafale is winner in terms of 
payload capacity. Now let's talk about the service ceiling. The file has service ceiling of 50,000 feet and F-18 also have similar service ceiling. So here there is no clear winner. Next, we're talking about the climb rate, the rate at which the fighter aircraft can climb and gain the altitudes. So F-18 has a climb rate of 44,882 feet per minute, whereas that of Rafale is 60,000 feet per minute. Clearly, Rafale has a bigger advantage here because it has a much higher climb rate than compared to F-18. Now we will talk about BVR missiles. So nowadays in the fighter aircraft, we talk more about the beyond visual range combat capability. And that's important because you can hit the target even before they uh, come into their, your visual range. When we talk about BVR, the Meteor missiles are the key in this region. Rafale uses Meteor missiles, which is a very long range air to air missile. The missile has very high countermeasure resistance and offers biggest no escape zone. No escape zone is a zone uh, around which if a missile is fired, fired uh, the target cannot escape. Whereas FA-18 uses AIM-120 advanced medium range uh, air to air missile AMRAM that has proved its combat capabilities during missions in Iraq, Bosnia and Kosovo. But Meteors have more range they are highly maneuverable at terminal stage, which is the last stage, and they are bigger no escape zone. This makes Rafale a killer and a clear winner in BVR combat. Now, the last point that we are talking about is cost. Rafale, for Rafale, the per unit cost is 86 million US dollar, whereas for F-18, the cost is 66 million dollar. This is the comparison between two air superiority fighter jets. While they are very close in terms of performance and firepower, Rafale do seem to outperform at many parameters. However, when it comes to cost, F-18 is much cheaper option. It is going to be a tough trade-off for the government to make a decision between cost and performance. So this is our, our analysis, which we brought to you after a lot of research. Please let us know which aircraft is going to be more suitable for Indian Navy. This was today's update. Please let us know what is your views about these in comment section. Feel free to post your comments and suggestions about any topic related to defense sector on which you want to hear from us. With this, I would like to say goodbye and Jai Hind friends. Please like and subscribe our video if you have not done already. We'll be soon back with more interesting and amazing development happening in defense sector.